What's up, up everyone? everyone? We are Cameron Gaming TCG and Collectibles. Today, it's another episode of Are They Worth It? Uh, if you saw, uh, I believe it was last week's episode of episode four of us, you know, unboxing and kind of showing over the major collection that we purchased. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it was definitely really fun to go through everything and actually see what we actually purchased. I had a whole list, but then we also, you know, the hollows and everything was just, um, was like all thrown in. Yeah, um, it was like everywhere. Yeah, so that, that video was definitely <laughs> all over the place, but check it out if you guys haven't. We'll leave it like in the eye. Um, today, we are actually opening up packs that we bought from Walgreens. Uh, so we got these, I think, at like $13.99 a piece for two packs. Comes with two packs and one pin. Um, it comes with, obviously, the Darkness of Blaze, and I believe there's a Sword and Shield base set pack in there, so it's going to be really cool to kind of open and see what cards we can get. Um, we hope that you guys are actually enjoying this series. Uh, I think, you know, just opening packs to see, you know, if we pull anything good from them, especially because the majority of these that we're doing, are they worth it, are like third-party companies. Um, but this one actually looks like it's a Pokemon International thing, but, you know, for two packs for like $13 a piece, which is like six fifty a pack, mm -hmm. plus like the pin. Well, that's no. probably why, because you also get a pin, too. I like the pins. I'm probably do, like, a display and stuff in, like, Mount somewhere, since we have so many. Yeah. Yeah, we'll probably, like, if we might have something going on in the background there. But, mm -hmm. um, so we're not dragging this out too far. <laughs> Before we begin this video, uh, cracking into these packs and everything, if you guys are new to our channel, consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, we post, uh, new TCG videos, like, two to three times a week, um, we, we're, we'll try to go up from there uh, eventually. Uh, and then uh, leave a like for this video. Uh, it definitely really helps us out. And hit that notification bell so that you're notified for when uh, we upload other videos. So without further ado, let's just get into this. Um, do you have preference of which ones you want? This isn't a pack battle, just so that everyone knows. I want... But Chrissy seems to uh, you know, always pull the good no matter which one she picks. So. All right. You want to go first, or? Yeah. Right. Let's get into it. Hope that you guys are having a uh, great day or night. Uh, we do appreciate you guys, you know, taking time out of your day just to come and uh, watch our videos. Um, uh, so you got two Darkness of Blaze packs, and then you got uh, two Sun and Moon. So, so that's what these packs are going to be: uh, two Sun and Moon, and two Darkness of Blaze. All right. Uh, kind of put these up here cute little pins. So, our Darkens of Blaze, the main cards that, you know, we're looking for is obviously trying to pull another Charizard. Because, you know, was it you that pulled it? Yeah, you pulled it. Okay. In one of our little uh, competition videos. Oops. So, let's see if you can pull another one. <laughs> and then, uh, but yeah, other cards besides the Charizard VMAX would be... Is it four? Four, yeah. Oh. Uh, would be out. Salamence VMAX, because uh, it's a Dragon type. Eternatus VMAX. Um, you got the Butterfree VMAX, which is a cool Rainbow Rare, I believe. Um, and then the one color, ener colors, energy, I forget what it's called, but it's a secret rare. Oh, is it the gold, um... It's basically like an energy card, but I forget. But it was the water one, it was like gold. Oh, uh, no, that was Chilling Rain. Oh. It, this is a colorless energy type card. So you got Golark, uh, Reverse Rare, that's a good start, and a Dark Ride Hollow. That's actually a really, really neat holo. So, just set those aside. I'm actually going to grab... So unorganized. No, I'm, I, I have... Um, so, for any ultra rare pulls that we pull, I'm going to be using like ultra pro uh, sleeves. But for like any regular hollows, I'm just going to put them in uh, right. re regular penny sleeves. So, you're going to start off with the second darkness of blades. Yeah, I want to see what we get. <laughs> Yeah, I forget what Sun and Moon has, but I know, like, the gold card of Lunana and, um... Lunana? Lun... Lun... Yeah. <laughs> and then, um... Solid Galileo. Um, those are two gold cards that we can get in Sun and Moon, so... It'll be pretty neat to try to get them. So we got Stimini. Stimini! Bird so Keeper. Spike Mu um, Muth. Uh, Kufin. Wishy Washy. Morlo, uh, Panseer, Teddy Ursa, 
Maybe somebody like that. I was about to say that. Uh, Tauros, just a uh, common. And a Lugia, uh, oh. regular rare. It's a regular rare, but it's uh, still, still something. Still a uh, great uh, rare to get. So, yeah, two Sun and Moon packs. So, this is uh, the first series of the uh, Aloha region. Like the first set to come out uh, when Ash goes to the Aloha region. So, I didn't like that one as much. Was Not it because of the animation or? The, uh, somewhat. <laughs> I mean, I, like, I, 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 love, know, I loved I all from... the new Pokemon, but it, I don't know. It was just. Mm. So I know from X and Y to Sun and Moon, obviously. What the ends. heck? what they do to it? It's an Alone Eradicate. You never. Uh, is this. <laughs> it looks like it's all blown up. Experience here. Got uh, Crocorot, Spiro, Psyduck, Psyduck, Eevee, <laughs> Picky Peck, and Elo and Meow. Uh, oh. Romantis, which is just a common, and a Paraset regular rare. Ew. Let me just put the regular rares up here. Ew. So, we got one final pack. Um, so, so far, obviously... I got nothing. Yeah, just a hollow bear, so We should have did a husband versus wife. Then I would pull something. Yeah, but, I mean, that's what, you know, <laughs> One, these two, are they worth three, it? Because three. buying, yeah. like, high-priced, like, non, at, not at retail price. Oh, this thing's cute! Uh, I don't know what it is. Mewkyu or something like that? I, I probably butchered that name, but... Oh, I got two energy things. Ooh, double color synergy. Yeah, that it, there's a secret rare. It's not double color sun <laughs> energy. What are you laughing about? <laughs> oh my god, I tell you later. Gramble Sandial. Oh, it's a baby one. Crab Brawler. Yeah. Drowsy. Grubbin. Grubbin. Firo. Litten. Oh, I like Which this is one. Uh, my favorite uh, Pokemon from Alolan. Yeah, uh, it's basically Litten that evolves into uh, is Cinnaroar. That... So. And... Uh, Paula's Sand. Is that a Pokemon? Yeah, it's basically a sandcastle. It evolves from uh, like a Diglett thing. Sandy Gast. Huh. Hmm. That's weird. I never seen that one. Yeah. So Chrissy didn't really get anything from her too. So it's up to me to try to see if, you know, if these packs work it. So far, my opinion is the pins make it worth it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, if you got, like, you know, just as just to open stuff, yeah, I mean, opening packs is worth it in general, no matter what. I mean, obviously, we won't behave, like, you know. Well, because, like, the thing is, like, you buy a single pack, is that like four ninety nine for a pack? Uh, some places. Like for us, it's like between like four to five dollar range. Uh, so I mean, like these aren't terribly off, but we, you know, obviously. Yeah, you pay a little extra for a pen, and the pens sometimes can cost more on a pen. Yeah. So obviously, we don't usually like to talk about like prices and stuff like that in our videos, uh, just because you know. Um. You got a lot of balls in your yeah. pen. Um, Crab Brawler and Lantern. Now, obviously, we'll have videos like you know if we do posts like sales mm -hmm. and stuff videos. Um, that's kind of when we'll do it. Uh, we just want to make this you know as fun as possible. Obviously, you know. As I admire, just the pins. <laughs> uh, I'm such a little child. But if you guys if you guys don't mind like you know if you guys would like, would like to know the prices. like the prices we'll we'll post it more we just we we kind of decided when like when we originally did our YouTube channel that we didn't want to really do that too much we just wanted to open the packs um, you know because we just love uh, opening packs collecting cards Ooh. like everyone Skarmory and a Bruxian. so I didn't get nothing either we haven't got we didn't get nothing on our Sun and Moon packs. It's mm -mm. actually kind of open up, kind of run that with the white code and focus. You mean the green? 
Well, no, that's a uh, white code. So usually the codes mean that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Poltergeist, Tauros, Pan Sage, Wishy Washy, Rickety, Iron, Agron, Reverse Rare, and. Ooh! Ooh, Scizor V Max! Nice! I like this one. Look at it. Look at the squiggles. Yeah, the texture on it is so. I, I love the texture on this. But a Scizor V Max. Full art. Is this? Oh wait, no, they're supposed to be red. So when I get one of our Ultra Pro sleeves, I guess I thought this was Ultra Pro. Maybe it wasn't because it doesn't have the thing on it. So we're just getting a regular sleeve and getting a sleeve up. Scissor V Max. So I mean, we got an Ultra Rare pool out of these. They're not bad. It's actually, I, I actually like that card too. Um, so, so was this a sun and moon? No, this was uh, darkness of blaze. So yeah, so, we like, didn't get nothing from sun and moon. Yeah, so you basically we each got one uh, hiding energy, darkness Pokemon energy, Dino. Oh yeah, Hydreigon's in here too. Oh, I see something. That's just a reverse. Oh. Yeah, Arca Zolt, which is another uh, regular rare. Hmm. So I mean, not bad, and then a Lipar regular. So, we didn't, uh, out of, what is it, eight packs, we got yeah. two hits off of it. Scizor VMAX and a Darkrai. Now, this, it, it definitely made it uh, worth it for us, at least uh, in the end. Mm -hmm. So, we're getting this, so. Um, now, I mean, obviously you guys decide. Do you think that these were, like, worth getting? Um, like, how was your luck with these if you guys have purchased these in the past, too? Um, you know, we, obviously, as you guys, like, look mm -hmm. back in our videos, I hardly pull anything. It's always Chrissy that's pulling it. <laughs> so, but, yeah, let us know down below if you guys had better pulls or better luck with, like, these type of, uh, blisters. And, um, till next time, <laughs> we shall see you guys in our next TCG video. Bye-bye. <laughs>